This is SB Twist, the hood blogger. Y'all know how I carry it. Man, shout out to everybody that been rocking with the channel, bro. The channel got hit, bro. You know what I'm saying? My joint was demonetized. I had to sit for three months. You dig what I'm saying? Had to sit for three months like it was a probation violation or something. You dig me? You know, um, somebody did a little snake move on the channel. I'm just going to keep it at that. And you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But what I can say is, you know, the channel back running. Man, shout out to the supporters. Shout out to the new subs. I see y'all. We back at it. I got to get to the Sieg situation, bro. I seen a lot of people doing videos and all of that. You know, talking about Beans saying, you know, he quit rap. I seen the dude put, I seen the guy say, you know, Beans went broke. And now he working on the food truck. Now, let's just break down him quitting rap. Sieg ain't been rapping for years, bro. What I mean by he ain't been rapping for years, meaning he never dropped like no more albums. Like once that state property ever and all that fell off, it was off. He had a little situation where he was about to, you know, link with uh, 50 and all of that. Yeah, you know I mean, where, where, where Knox was trying to link up the G Unit Philly stuff and all of that, trying to get, you know, see the be tied then with that. That never fell out, you know. And then he had a couple situations where he had to go to jail. We know he got hit and all of that, lost a lung. You know, he had he been through a lot. Now, yes, we have seen C put music out, but on the music, he was like featuring on artist Jones. Like, you know I mean, it was like features and stuff like that. He came and showed love to, you know, the up and coming Philly artists. Did like the feature with Davies and all of that. But it was never like, you never heard C really on none of his interviews and nothing really talking about, you know, I'm, I'm coming out with a new project. This going to be the best project ever. Like, we never got them interviews from C. Never heard nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? C been on the hop. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Dean. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, call it or whatever. You know, um, he just been trying to be a righteous Muslim. You know, and stand out the way. Now, for y'all to say that he quit rap, I mean, how much sense do it make? Or forty plus year old man to think that he's going to get run up money from off a of rap like that. Like the rappers that are older, they know they got a core fan base. They drop music for the fan base. Yeah, they can go around do shows and all of that, but they not sitting up here thinking they're going to be out here hitting numbers like Dirk or nothing like that. They understand it's a young guy game. Plus, they come from the the label album ever where you know you was putting stuff on wax and all of that they understand that's over with bro so what y'all expect that man to do to sit around and still you know expect to make m's off of music bro it don't really make no sense you know what i'm saying but i just had to, to put that out there real quick so it's not like c was like oh i'm done with rap i'm opening up a food truck bro he ain't been an active full-time rapper in years like I said, these artists, they do it just to put it out, just for the love of it. Just to let people know they still got it. The, all these guys, they got Instagrams and ways that the fans can get in contact with them. So, you know, these these, these artists, they be, you know, they get to hear the voices of the fans. So, most of the music be to please the fans, basically. You dig what I'm saying? But on top of that, one more thing I got to say is, you know, it was a guy that said Seek was... You know what I'm saying? He basically went broke and ended up on the food truck. Don't nobody know Bean's financial situation. Obviously, he's not Jay-Z status where he's a billionaire, but how many rappers are, bro? You dig what I'm saying? Come on, man. We, we can run down the list. We can take it back to Big Daddy Kane and them. You know how many rappers that was in the industry is sitting around rich with no issues, bro? But my whole thing is I never saw that energy with like Bun B or none of them, you know what I'm saying? Even like Trick Daddy, bro, Trick Daddy, YouTube channel, cooking, did a podcast, opened up a joint. It's all the same thing, bro. You can't try to bid off that man because he opened up a food truck. Because truthfully, I can't speak for everywhere else, bro. But I know out Philly and like New York, bro, them food trucks hit numbers, bro. Like, it's a fact. Why you think them Arabs and all them that come over here? They open up food trucks, chicken over rice and all of that, fish over rice. Why do you think they not coming here 
renting out storefronts. Of course, you got like your crown fried chickens and all that, but I'm talking about like the new wave is the food trucks. And food trucks, they hit numbers, less maintenance, less billing. All you're doing is paying, you know what I'm saying, the rent, obviously, because if you buy your food truck, you're just paying for the rent on that, you know what I'm saying, on your sidewalk. And game is like, if you in like your, your city, for instance, it's harder to get a spot center city on one of them sidewalks and plus the rent is higher. So if you can put it in the hood, people know out Philly, we got Johns all out front of Temple and all that. They hit numbers, bro. They making great livings off of that. So what Sieg is doing, he's hitting numbers off of that food truck. Believe that. He put his face behind it. Not only that, he provide an opportunity for family, friends. And what the average person do, as long as that joint pop, they open up more food trucks across the city. You dig what I'm saying? He could even take it as far as putting Jones out in New York. You know what I'm saying? Because C got love out in New York too. And New York is that fast paced city, just how Philly is. You know, Philly tight, fast paced, all them food trucks hitting numbers, bro. This damn time. I've seen a lot of more felon restaurants than I did food trucks. Food trucks be out there forever, bro. I never seen a halal truck in the city of Philly that fell off. But I've seen a lot of restaurants that might have had a buzz three, four years, and then they fall completely off. It's everything so fast and direct where them food trucks, them joints be in your face. So you're constantly getting customers, new customers, people that want to get a quick bite to eat. And the average food truck ain't charging as much for their food as the average restaurant. You dig what I'm saying? It's just like going to the poppy store to get a cheesesteak. You won't get a whole cheesesteak platter and all that, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for a great price compared, considered to, you know what I'm saying, compared to going to like, like Max's or D'Alessandro's where you're going to get one steak, no fries, and it's going to be, you know what I'm saying, top dollar. Of course, they cheese steaks like the the steak and all that is more rich, but them poppy store joints be jumping. You know what I mean with a with a cheese fry. You know what I'm saying with cheese steak platter with cheese fries and all that. But what I'm saying is I don't understand why we why we bash our community and bed off of them or do. You know what I'm saying they do it with certain artists because I ain't hear nobody like I said going in on Bun B or nothing like that. Never heard nobody making fun of Trick Daddy. You know what I'm saying? And for the guy that just put that video up and said that he was broke and all of that, I mean, I could have swore Boy was a rapper himself, but he on YouTube blogging like the rest of us bloggers. You know what I'm saying? So if rap is so great and all of that, why did you have to turn up? You know what I'm saying? Like, is you a rapper, a motivational speaker, a comedian? You betting off of people like, like, you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Like, it don't be making no sense, bro. But it, it's a shame how, you know, that stuff go viral on the internet. And, you know, people throw fake shots and all of that. And that, that it's not cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? See, is that a good state? Just like the average artist that was in the industry and got out of it. Yeah, you might not be hitting tours and all that all the time. But if y'all notice, with Beans and all of that, like, they, they do the state property reunion tour. It's not no no shows with new albums and all that dropping, bro. Like, people been off of rap, bro. And Seek still a goat. He's still one of the top five. I can't... Well, I'll have to say the top ten. He's in my top five of all time. He gotta be at least in the top ten of, of you know, most hip-hop artists. Because depending on what state you're from and all that, Beans, you know, impacted you different, differently. But obviously in Philly... You know, he he impacted us a lot different than probably a lot of other states, even though other states give Sieg his props. But, you know, he and my, my top five of all time, though, you know, I've I seen a lot of people, not to get off topic, but they kept talking about Eminem, you know, walking down uh, Jay-Z on a uh, Renegade. That was so arguable. Ar that was so argumentable for that one song. Where M had to flow on that joint. He had to flow on it. M was hot on it. M hot, bro. But when we talk about, like, you know, what was he talking about on them joints? I can pretty much say that I, I, me personally, I feel like Beans probably didn't walk Jay Z down on most of the tracks they was on together. We could somehow, some way, we can talk, Where Have You Been? We can talk, um, 
you know, numerous joints. I can't think of all, all of them off top. The, the joint off the Chain Gang I, album, It's On, you know, and we talking about Jay-Z when Jay-Z was, you know, connected all the way to the streets. All them joints is arguable on the Beans walk him over. You know what I'm saying? The Beans get over on Hove on them joints. On top of that, he the only rapper I know that gave the lock smoke. And we we know what the locks do to people, bro. Like, he the only ones that, that's another debatable back and forth. But, man, we got to stop all the hating, man. Beans doing this thing. They said he, he opened up a cart. He in the hood and all of that. Yeah, he in his hood. He from the P. He from South Philly. Why not start it in your own hood? That's because these guys that be saying all that, like that dude that was on there earlier, you know, the Nino guy, he said he in the hood, bro. Like, Nino, where is you from? Let, let me see you go in your hood and go do anything in your hood if you even is from a hood, bro. These these people out here be plants, bro. Plants. Then you try to clean it up at the end and be like, oh, no, it ain't nothing wrong with that. The, the working man, so... It got to be one or the other, bro. It got to be one or the other. You can't rap forever. Just like they said, you can't track forever. You dig what I'm saying? SV Twiz, Hub Blogger. I got some heat on the way, y'all. Like I said, the channel just got back running. You know what I'm saying? I'm just plugging up a little Jones behind scenes and all that. But be prepared, man. Make sure y'all hit that bell and all that. If you're new to the channel, scroll down my Jones, man. You won't be disappointed. Had to get rid of a lot of content. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, my channel got hit, but I'm back, bro. Gas pedal. You know what I'm saying? This this hoodie season now, bro. Twizzy turning it up. Y'all already.